like a daily vlog so I am leaving the house right now I have a two and a half hour drive because it is time to go pick your cousin up well I'm not picking her up I'm just picking her stuff up so Aaliyah is coming home for the summer um so I have to go pick her stuff up because the fun police is working and she is going to her last meet of the season which is her conference meet in North Dakota they leave on Wednesday today is Monday they leave on Wednesday for that meet um and she won't come back until Saturday she was supposed to be out of her dorm room I want to say Friday she's supposed to be out her dorm room but I think she signed up for like late checkout so she don't have to be out until Sunday I believe so basically long story short she gonna be gone so we're not gonna have time to get her stuff later in the week so we're getting it today um I can't I almost went down tomorrow which is Tuesday uh, but Lexi got to get her hair done and I got to take her to get her hair done so I'm not available tomorrow so I'm gonna go up there today grab all of her shit drive back and then we shall see her this weekend and we'll have her for the whole summer y'all so put down in the comments what type of videos y'all want to see Aaliyah do I hope y'all know she got her own channel and she's not really consistent with adding new videos but I'm trying to get her more consistent I'm trying to get her more comfortable with making different videos because she always says any like any ideas I give her she's like they don't want to see that they don't want to see that don't nobody want to see that and I'm like girl you'll be surprised on what they want to see like you're not gonna know what they want to see until you put it out there so anyway <laughs> she's almost home for the summer I'm going down to get her so I decided to bring you guys along so let's go for this long ass two and a half hour drive we have arrived that was a long freaking boring drive oh my god I was like getting so sleepy then I was trying to find a Starbucks couldn't find a Starbucks y'all I didn't eat snacks I had these I didn't eat these hungry I gotta use the bathroom that was a struggle okay so I'm here I I parked in just a regular parking spot for right now so I'm gonna go in I think she already started like packing stuff up and turning stuff down you know cuz y'all y'all saw we had put like stuff on the wall she had the um what are those called them lights um you know what I'm talking about the lights in there so I think she may have already started taking that type of stuff down so all we really finna do is carry this stuff down to the truck so i parked in the regular parking spot for right now but when we get the stuff and bring it downstairs then i'll pull i'll pull the um truck around i'm trying to see do i need a jacket no nah, it's nice out should i take my purse in there with me yeah i'm gonna have to um hold up let me get myself situated Ouch. Take my AirPods out so those can stay nice and charged. All right, let's go. Let's go. She talking about people not already start going home. I'm like, how? Parking lot still packed. Who went home? It must be people that ain't got no car because there's all cars out here still. Y'all see all these cars in this damn parking lot? People is hurting in full effect. Yeah, she know they start packing some of her stuff up. You say you don't know where to start to pull this off? Might have to start from the bottom. Ooh. <laughs>
You got them emptied out? Yep. It's none in there. Except my books. I don't Let's check for some kids. I wiped them out too. Okay. They said you had to? No, I was being nice. Just act like you got some home training. Yeah, because I had like, you know how, I don't know, George is getting dirty. mostly everything some of this stuff she taking she bring it home with her when she come home this weekend you gotta bring all these covers and stuff and you should be able to fit yeah you should be able to fit this stuff in your in your car let me take another couple mike and ice for the ride i'm gonna just take this and throw it away okay got no cars oh this is trash Mm. Yeah, I put my shoes on because I didn't came here and put her shoes on. Get that. Mm. Blow dryers up there that's staying. Yes, that's the stuff that she's taking to the track meet. She said she's gonna take her lights and her wallpaper over there down herself. And then two bed now. Right. And then people kept on asking how do we turn two beds into one? We literally hid pieces of the bed behind her. Is it behind it? Yeah, that's so like that's the frame. I think part of the headboard is back there. Shit, ain't it something up under here? Uh, the mattress is right here up under the bed. The spring back there. And then another piece of the bed is right there in the closet. <sighs> so that's how. All right. Are you coming back up? Mm -hmm. Or are you going straight to class? No, my class at one. I'm gonna put you for that. Oh, my bad. Yeah. She got a final today. Use my car. Okay, that's cool. Looks like we're going to Chick Fil A. Let's go.
So Leah got hella money still left on her um her her car, whatever where she get food. So she's treating me to Chick Fil A. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Damn, what? <Sorry. laughs> How are you? Hi, guys. Hi. Pretty good. Y'all want to be on the camera? Hey. <laughs> Y'all ready for conference? No. Yes, you are. Don't say that. You want indoors, so. I'm going to try. Bring it in the outdoor. Good luck if I don't see y'all. So Leah had to go to class so she can take her final. It is 1-11. I'm about to head back to St. Louis. But first I gotta use the bathroom. And I don't wanna walk back in this student center to use the bathroom. So, I might find something on the way. But first I'm gonna sit here and eat my Chick-fil-A that my daughter bought me. Because she has so much money left on her student account. And she's trying to spend all of it before she come home. She said she wants to spend all her little money. Y'all, yeah. there's so much stuff in here. All this shit. Y'all see all the stuff in the back of the truck? I didn't realize she had that much stuff, so I figured like, oh, she only got a few things. A few little tubs. Maybe a suitcase full of clothes, and that's it. No. That girl was literally living in her campus. I mean, I guess that's what you're supposed to do, but I mean, in her dorm room. I guess that's, that's what you're supposed to do, but damn. Let me get my sauce open. So I'm gonna sit here, eat this food right quick, which I wish, you know what? I might just keep on going. I might just stop. I gotta use the bathroom. I don't feel like driving, having to use the bathroom. I don't, I don't like, ooh, I almost dropped my shape. I don't like being uncomfortable while I'm driving, so. I think I might just go stop at a Walmart. I'm going to stop at Walmart anyway because I want to get like an energy drink or something. Because I was struggling on my way here. I was getting tired even though I've had sleep, so I'm not sleepy. It's like I'm not lacking sleep. It's just, it's a boring drive, so I was just today is tuesday y'all so i just drove mm, about 35 minutes so this child can get this hair did you that is a lot of hair man a lot of freaking hair so she about to get her hair braided at a different braider because the last braider kind of played us a little bit um so she's trying somebody different it's her first time getting her hair braided by this new person mm -hmm. so we shall see how this is going to look i am getting ready to try to find something to do in the area while i wait for her to get her hair braided because i'm not going to leave her and i live too far and i don't feel like driving back and forth i got my laptop i might do some editing i might find me a little bread co set up shop give me a coffee or something make it the best of it you're not hungry are you uh -uh. you got you some snacks uh-huh Okay, well, what you looking at? I look down to see if I have my uh, panty bag. Oh. Alright, so let me drop sis off so she get a her done. wash I've been using lately I will admit to y'all this was sent to me in the PR package 
but I actually have been using this for months. This is my second bottle. They sent me two of everything, and I used the the, uh, the full first bottle. Now I'm on my second one. So I actually like this face wash, even though I didn't pay for it. Um, so I'm not just I'm just saying that to let y'all know that I'm just not saying that I like it because. It was sent to me. I'm really, I really actually do like it. But anyway, um, I brushed my teeth already, washed my face. I think I'm gonna go work out today, y'all. It's been like a week. For some reason, I just cannot get my fitness regimen on track. I don't know what it is. I, I just, I've always been able to like be very religious with the gym. But for some reason here lately, I think it's because I have no reason to wake up early. Before Lexi got her car, I had to wake up early to take her to school. So since I was all already up, right after I dropped her off at school, I would go straight to the gym. So I would get to the gym like at seven o'clock in the morning, get my workout done, over with, and then I was back at home to do other stuff. Now Lexi takes herself to school, and matter of fact, once I wake up in the morning, Lexi is already gone, okay? So I think that's where my problem is. So I need to work on getting myself up early so that I can just get up and go to the gym. I am a morning gym person. I cannot go to the gym at night. I, I just, there's something about the gym at night that I dislike. I just can't even do it. So anyway, I'm trying to get this soap out of my nose. Like, how did I get soap in my nose? So anyway, we are gonna go to the gym. I don't know which gym yet, but we're gonna go to the gym. And I need to edit, edit, edit. There's supposed to be a tray vlog coming out tonight. However, I'm trying to determine if I'm gonna start putting the tray vlog into the weekly vlog. Um, I'm trying to try that out to see how it go. I know a lot of people like the separate track vlogs, but I don't know. I'm just trying shit at this point. So I need to edit the track vlog and then try to figure out if I am going to do two separate vlogs or not. Y'all, let me show y'all what I got from Sephora yesterday. So y'all know I've been trying to learn how to do my makeup and I'm learning more and more every day about my skin that I had no freaking idea. So my skin is dry. All this time I'm like, I ain't got dry skin, I ain't got oily skin like my skin was just neutral no this shit is dry so when i would be doing my makeup certain products that take moisture out of your skin because it's meant for people who have oily skin i've been using those products not knowing no better and then i've been wondering why my makeup be looking so freaking dry so i just figured out this stuff right here is literally it says it's a matte spray so i think i need to stay away from shit that's matte but it says, hold on, where did it say it at? It says, locks makeup in, blocks makeup in place all day while it absorbs oil on the skin. I need all the oil I can get. I don't need you absorbing anything. And then another one was this Laura Mercier uh, primer, <clears throat> blurring, it's a, blurring primer whatever the hell that means but come to find out that's more so for people with oily skin so i'm giving some of this stuff away to my friend together because she has oily skin and she can put it to use better than i can i am using like trying this i'm not sure if if it's working good for me or not just yet i don't know i'm gonna keep waiting i'm gonna keep trying this but anyway from Ulta yesterday, I ended up going with the MAC setting spray. The girl in there said that it's, it's like a moisturizing, hydrating, not moisturizing, a hydrating spray. So I wanna try this the next time I do my makeup. Y'all know I don't do my makeup often, but next time I do it, I'm gonna try that. And then I also like the Good Molecules line. I use this and I actually didn't use it all. Uh, yes, this was sent to me in a PR package as well. So I did not pay for this. This was sent to me, but yeah, I can literally scoop. I can't scoop up any more oil because 
I have used it all. I can squeeze out just a little bit, but I used this whole thing. And I actually liked it. But I ended up seeing that they had a, a oil blend for dry skin. So I want to try this. Actually, I'm going to put some of this on now. I didn't like the fact that it said use as the last step in your routine or over moisturizer. I thought this was the moisturizer. So I still need to find a moisturizer. But anywho, so you just put a couple of drops in the palm. That was more than a couple, but you know, you get it. Palm your hand and it says press it into your skin. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I don't like the way it smells. I mean, it's not a horrible smell. It's just, I thought, I just expected it to smell something different. <sighs> Let's see. I'm gonna put some on my lips too, just because. All right, I am ready for the gym. Oh, outfit check. Nothing, nothing fancy smancy, y'all. So I got this, I got these leggings from Nike about, 80 years ago okay I used to work at Nike for those who don't know and we used to get our uniform what they call it staff dress Look, this damn okay that's better so our staff dress is what they called it at the Nike so we used to get black pants and then like a different top every three months like if I'm if my memory is serving me correct so these leggings are old as shit okay they got a little pocket right here that i be using when i'm going to the gym and then it makes it look like something is wrong with my hip i'll be putting my keys and stuff in there and it just be like sticking out and i don't care um this top i got a bunch of them from target they were three bucks that's why i have so many of them i got like a whole bunch of different colors i got them in the same color in different sizes because they was three dollars Plus, this is a medium. I liked how the medium fit with certain stuff. And then I got smalls. The smalls fit a little different. And I liked the way the smalls fit with certain stuff. Yeah, long story. So anyway, I am ready for the gym. Right now, I am trying to get my pre-workout together. A little snacky snack. So this is the pre-workout that I am using today. I, I use pre-workout, but not often. I use it, but it's not it's not an everyday thing. This pre-workout, it tastes pretty good. Um, let me drink some of this water down. Okay. Put a scoop in there, I think. Damn, let me get a, a um, funnel. I had to get a damn funnel because that was not going to fit. That scoop was not going to fit in this bottle. Let me see. One scoop is for how many ounces? Um... Does it? Okay, mix half scoop and 68 ounce. I'm glad I read that because it's been a while since I took this, so I couldn't remember. It's been a couple, like a month or so. I would have been wired up because I would have put a whole scoop up in this thing. I would have been at the gym going ham. You hear me? So we're gonna get some of that, and then y'all, all over the TikTok, people have been talking about these freaking bars. What are these? Soft baked bars. Sunbelt Bakery. So I bought them to try them and I haven't tried them yet. And I just want to put something on my stomach. This thing don't have no color. Oh, yes, it do. I was about to say, I don't remember it being clear. It's blue. It's just at the bottom stuff. So I'm going to grab one of these bars. That still don't look like it normally look. Oh, excuse me. Let me taste it. Oh, because this is not eight ounces. So I could have put a whole scoop in there. I'm tripping. That's not a whole. That's 16 ounces. So I'm going to put another half scoop in there. I am tripping. All right. Oops. Let's see if that makes it better. Okay, that's better. Oh, that's kind of tart, but it's better. All right, and I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to try it in the car. I'll tell y'all how they are. 
because everybody's been like raving about them on the TikTok. How many calories is in these? 140 calories for one bar. Y'all wanna see my snack cabinet? I just restocked it. I feel like I just restocked it and it already needs to be restocked again. Um, so just ignore the emptiness. That's my, my camera bag. I don't even know why it's sitting in here. Those are Bentley's cookies. Though that's my matcha. I don't have anything in there yet. But these are the snackish snacks. I need to restock them, but this is the whole cabinet. I need to get those little containers to kind of like organize these in. Um, yeah, that popcorn up there. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so so good. I don't know who who hit them behind these, but this popcorn I get them from Sam's. Fire, fire. So and then we got other stuff in these drawers, like whole bunch of freaking pretzels. And then in this top drawer, I got some coffee in here, but we got some airheads, which we don't need those, but whatever. So yeah, that is that is the snack pantry, in case y'all cared. I don't know if y'all cared or not, but show y'all anyway. So anyway, let's get out the house. Let's get to the gym. Let's be productive today. We are at the gym, unfortunately. I haven't shared as much footage from me working out with y'all because I'm making a video for the ticket talk. But I did want y'all to get into this little patio that's at the gym. What's that like a Rexplex type place close to my house? Ain't this so cute? Like I can make some really cute gym content in here. I'm not liking the lighting but I think it's probably where the sun is. I think the sun is up above us right now. But like if the sun move over there or something and the light can like shine directly into it, it'd be a little bit better. Um, but I like this. So if y'all wanna see the footage from the workout I did today, y'all gonna have to go over to the ticket talk. But I did wanna share this with y'all, this little area and give y'all a closer look at my gym fit for the day. I had to tie up my shirt, but I think it's gonna come apart because I didn't tie it that well. But let me try it again. I, it's a sign. It was like, you must dress appropriately or I would have just taken this whole top off and just wore my sports bra up under it. But I ain't got time for nobody to be trying to check me. I'm talking about, ma'am, you need to put some clothes on. Yeah, I have been at this gym, damn gym for a little minute. Bullshitting. I've been working out too, but I've been kind of bullshitting too. I done made a TikTok. Um, I didn't post something on the Instagram. Bullshitting. So I'm gonna share just a little bit of my workout with y'all. Let's go. Let me make sure I'm in the frame. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I'm in the frame. I don't know what these called. Should I make up a name for them? Because I don't know what they call. But anyway, we're going to do 25 of them. <sighs> that wasn't too bad. I probably could have kept going. Oh well, I didn't. Woo, walk it off. It's getting hot. And I keep shocking myself. Woo. That's dangerous. Y'all heard that? Yeah.
gym is done. Um, had a good workout. Then I went to Target. They had like 20% 20 20 off of their dresses. And I am here for a good summer dress. But the dresses that y'all saw that I tried on, I liked two of them, but not enough to purchase. It was like, oh, it's cool, but I don't like it like that. So I ended up not getting anything out of Target. Then I'm just leaving Dick's. Um, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but I just left Dick's because I was trying to find some hairbands and I found these two and they actually was on sale. My total was $10, so I'm assuming they was cheaper than what the tag say. So these little Nike headbands, this one was marked down to $8.99. That's what the tag say on the back. And then I got a white one. Um, it was the same price. But when she just rang me up, it was my total was $10 for both of them. So they must have been cheaper than the tag said, which I am here for a deal. But I need more headbands. I normally don't like wearing headbands, but now I'm getting to the point where I'm not retwisting my locks as often because I feel like my locks in like around this area is starting to thin out a little bit, which is fine. It is it comes with the territory, but I'm trying not to put as much stress on my hair around that area because y'all know like I'll do my retwist every six to eight weeks, but like every two, three weeks, um, I'm retouching these locks in the front. So I manipulate the ones in the front a lot more than I do the rest. So I just feel like I'm I've been doing it too much too often and I'm starting to cause them to kind of like thin out in that area where and when I say thin out I mean and like I'm breaking like my hair I have edges. Y'all see I have edges like I have hair around this area but the more I twist those locks the more of the hair that goes into that lock is breaking off so it's not like I'm balding or anything, but that particular, you know what I'm saying, that those strands of hair are not attached to the lock anymore. So then it starts creating like thin spots throughout your locks. I think I'm explaining that right. I'm not sure if I explained that right or not, but I'm just trying not to fool with my locks as often. So I'm wanting to wear like, you know, have the option to throw a headband on if I need to in between retwists. You know, so I ain't gotta walk around looking looking crazy. Um, right now I am I think I'm gonna go into Ross. What am I going into Ross for? I don't really know what I'm going into Ross for. Um, I'm just out and I really don't have I'm not really looking for anything. I'm just out. So I'm like, well, Ross is right here, let me go in there. Ross normally don't have shit. Ross is Ross is so such the ghetto. But I do Every now and again, I do find stuff here and there at Ross. So I do go in there. Even though I be like, I'm not going to find nothing, I do still go in there because every now and again, I find little stuff. So I'm going there just to look. I might go into Alta. I went into Alta yesterday, so going to Alta again today is crazy. But I'm going to Alta because I need to find some skincare products for Lexi because she's been complaining that her skin is dry. Uh, so I want to try to get her some face wash and maybe like a moisturizer for her skin so she ain't walking around with dry skin and then we're gonna go home and make us some lunch i have not eaten anything except for that nutrient bar um so i am kind of hungry so i think i'm gonna go home and eat some salmon and rice and that's it and then we're just gonna kind of wean the rest of the day i guess this way across. go across let's do it across yeah. Yeah, we trying to get cabinets for the new construction. Yeah. Got Roxy here. She is. She is. They're gonna. They're gonna be nice and give her about a year. They're gonna be fly. So obviously all this. Were there any windows? No. Windows. Nope. Um, so I have like the, the sink here and I have the lazy Susan with the side here. Yeah, it's, it's, this, it's the way that he got it now. Um, I think 
Is the dishwasher hook up on the opposite? Uh, the dishwasher is on the opposite side. Is it? Yeah. It is Thursday morning, 10.45. Um, I'm in my office uh, because I bought a new TV to put in here the other day. And the phone police is helping me install it. So it's gonna go over there. We're moving the, what is that called? The um, outlet from down there to, am I showing y'all right? Where's my pinpoint? Okay, so we put in the outlet there. It used to be down, down there somewhere. Now we put it up there. So yeah, that's what we're working on today. Um, I don't know what else I'm gonna have going on today. I wanna try to make it to the gym to at least do a little bit of cardio. Um, I think that's it. That's it. We, we're winging it. We're winging it like we always do. So I can just cut it wherever? Wherever you think you're going to put it in the box. Put it, use the shark for my mouth. That ain't going to do nothing. The shark? Right? No, in there where the mouth is. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Push down and cut it. Turn it, yeah. There you go. Get the sheeting done first. Now pull the sheet back. There you go. Pull the sheeting back. There you go. Yeah, now, now start cutting through that. Sheeting off a little bit. Just cut a little slit. And take that off if you need more than that off. Okay. Yeah, you can cut that off. Move your hand. You don't cut towards your hand. Oh, uh, shit. How am I supposed to keep it off of the steel? No, 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 no. You see, you get this in there, right? Once you get that in there, or whatever, you get this wedged in there enough. Then you start cutting like this, away from your hand. See that, how that works? Mm -hmm. Away from your hand. Now, you got enough, start slicing. So I got to be out enough that you don't go around that. You don't twist them around and take a turn. Yeah, this is supposed to take a long without the rest of the tool in the way. <laughs> that shit, it is. That shit right there, boy. Turn and pull. That's it. If, it. if you got it in the wrong hole, it's going to be hard. There it go. Pull. Pull. It's, it's off. There you go. There you go. God damn. <laughs> Yeah. All right, now I can put the socket on. Yeah. Right though. Can I put it in the hole in the back, or do I gotta? No, put it on, on the actual socket. Which one? The top one? Yeah. Put the gold, the black on the gold, and the white on the silver. Black, white. Black on the gold. Yeah. White on the silver. Right. You gotta bend it around there. Bam. Now, if you wanted to. Look at it. When we yeah. set it up. Bam. I hope it didn't move over to the right too much. Yeah. Uh oh. There you go. Go ahead. Drop it down. Something on it. Is it? Yeah, let go. I don't know if I'm a little crooked. It look like it's poking out again. It is. God damn. Put that up a little bit. 
Yeah, go ahead. Move to the top. Yeah, she is. She is washing her edges. How often do you have to do that? Not often. Um, I want them to look better today. Um. All right. So you said you're in third flight. The long jump is at two. Mm -hmm. But you're in the third flight. Yeah. Gotcha. What time is the two hundred? I don't even know. I'm not going. <laughs> oh no! I don't even know about that. I think it's at full time. Oh, well, we're trying to stream it, so hopefully they let us see. If not, have somebody record. Yeah, I don't know where my. It's people in my IT that run twenty four, but it's like four. So I'm gonna have to run 24 zone just to get top two. Cause my, it's the fastest time, like after that. So if somebody else got a fast time, then they gonna make it type uh, stuff. Okay. All right, well, just, just don't be in your head like you always do. At this point, just run. <laughs> just run, exactly. Just run and run as fast as you can. Yeah, I watched Y'all see it? Edge zone. Please. I'm stuck Now you gotta comb them. Yeah, I gotta flat iron. Oh, you gotta do you gotta dry them? Yeah. Oh, that's a process. I actually look though. No lie. But the outcome of it be, be sure. Mm. Y'all in the same time zone? Low key. Huh? The, they kind of got heat damage, the side ones. Oh, Lord. You and them damn edges. Your edges is going to fall out, girl. That's the goal. You want them to fall out? I want them to be straight, so I don't have to keep straight enough. Oh, my God. <laughs> In that case, you, you might as well just damn relax them. No, not too much on that. But I'm gonna let you know what happens. I'm gonna let you know what happens. All right, well, good luck. Jump really, okay. really far. You got this. Okay. All right, love you. Love you too. Bye bye. Bye. As y'all can see, um, Leah has attracted me today. In North Dakota, I'm feeling some type of way about it because I didn't make it because it took her forever to give us a schedule for me to be able to book a flight to get there in time and then still make it back by tomorrow morning for Alexa's district meet here. So I kind of like... I was on a fence about it all the way up until last night because I could have just booked a flight to leave this morning at 6 a.m. Um, but then they changed the times that she was supposed to long jump. They moved it to an earlier time. So then I wouldn't have made it there in time. Now I'm kind of annoyed because if I would have known she was in the third flight, I might have been able to make it. Like I probably would have made it just right when she started to jump. I, it was possible that I could have missed it, but it was a possibility that I could have got there on time and would have been able to see her jump. And then she do the 200 uh, sometime today. Tomorrow she's doing the four by one triple jump. And I want to say the four by four, I could be wrong. Um, so yeah, I'm a little sad about not being able to make it to her meet. Um, her conference meet. This is her last meet of the season, but we do plan on streaming it on TV. Hopefully they get long jump. Y'all know when they be streaming these track meets, they never show the long jump and triple jump. They always just show the running event. So 
we'll see we'll see how they have it set up um and then tomorrow we will be getting ready for alexa's district meet um uh, her first event is like at 9 a.m that's why it was hard for me to to go to north dakota because i'm like the flight would have got back to st louis like at 9 30. her lexi's first event is at 9 but i mean i guess i could have made it work but it was just starting to stress me out so i just said you know what whatever so anyway let's see what Aaliyah does at her conference meet today i woke up in a not so good mood i don't really know what's wrong with me today i'm just kind of like mm. so i got dressed i put on some clothes um i i need to i i know i say this every clip is that i need to retwist my hair i had airy intentions on getting up this morning to retwist my hair woke up just just feeling kind of blah so I really don't feel like retwisting my hair. So I just got to pull back a little bit. I probably put like a headband on or something. But I got myself together so um, that I can try to make myself feel better. To have a better day today. Um, so far it's it's working a little bit. It's not working a 100% but it's working a little bit. So um, I, am, I have my TV now as y'all see from yesterday. Have my TV, of course, I'm not watching anything on it because we all know that I really don't even watch TV. So why I wanted a TV in my office, I don't really know uh, because I really don't watch TV like that. Um, I am set up because I am editing some TikTok videos for TikTok. And then I'm also editing weekly vlog um, that y'all would have already seen sun last Sunday. I need to, I probably will push up these videos because I'm like delayed by a week so that I won't have to stress out trying to get videos out to y'all. But now I just feel like the longer I wait to get a video out to y'all, I don't like the video no more. I just be like, mm, do I want to post this? So I think I need to start like recording and then whatever happened that week, I post on Sunday. It's kind of up in the air, but that's kind of what I'm moving more towards, but Anyway, let me edit this video, wait until Aaliyah's, because I got like a two two hours uh, to stream Aaliyah's track meet. Hopefully we can see her long jump, um, and then we'll kind of go from there. I couldn't find none of my kids. Oh, that was from Linda. Second call, class five, girl shot put. Class three, oh, yeah, yeah. boys discus. Class five, boys javelin. Class three, boys long jump. Class it's five, Saturday. Girls jump. We are Class finally three, at Lexi's jump. track Class five, boys pole This is track me. We Class waiting on her to do the, the hurdles. The hurdles. She's getting ready months. to do the 100 hurdle prelims. And she still got to run finals. But she, so she's doing the 100 hurdles prelims. Then she got to do the 300 hurdles. She got to make it out of prelims to go into finals. It's early, y'all. Y'all know I'm not a morning person. Uh, mornings is just ghetto. I don't understand why they even, even exist. <laughs> just jumped over a couple of hurdles. She's ready. She got her little bow. Getting another little run through in. Did she? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. oh, shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now we, she getting ready to run the finals, the 100 meter hurdle finals. So y'all saw in the prelims how she mm -hmm. basically slowed up. Now my mom over here talking about, mm -hmm. I am talking to the, the people. 
He acting like I'm talking to her. I didn't know you recording. <laughs> she let up on that last couple of hurdles and then she damn her stop right before the, the uh the finish line before y'all get in the comments talking shit talking about she should never slow down she was just trying to get through the final she trying to save her legs for the final so mind your business mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and at first Thank you, thank you. Did you broke somebody's record? Yeah, I broke Lee's record. You broke your sister's record. My sister's record of 14-7. Her senior record of 14-7. Wow. She broke that school record. I'm like, what? Wait, baby. Wait, honestly, when that girl fell, I thought it was a luxe. Oh, my gosh. So I, thought, I thought, too, because I, I screened your name, and then I looked. I'm like, is that her on the ground? Yeah, because I seen Pink Spice. So as soon as I seen Pink Spice, I mean, I like she fell, and I, I, I literally, bro, I, as, soon as, I, as soon as I see you running, I heard somebody scream. So I'm sprinting to the finish line, and yo, yo also was still smiling. So I'm like, who is that screaming? And then I, I see was, her on the floor. I was happy at the same time, but she was hurting. So I was like, breathe, breathe. She's like, dad. And I was like, my heart was screaming for her dad. That's what I really thought it was. I was like, oh my god, that's so bad. It was so crazy. I was yeah. I'm gonna go put my sweater on and go to the gym. All right. Now we're getting ready for the four by one relay. Girls, class five. Of course, Lexi is first leg. Girls, class five. Pole ball. Second from Herman, senior Bryce Williams with a distance of 13.41 meters. Ah, uh, come and on! And in first place from Steam, senior Jalen Thomas with a distance of 14.57 meters. Good job, ladies. She about to run the 300 meter hurdles. I don't know if y'all can see her, but she all the way over there. Class five girls, final call.
Check that. But she made it to workers, sectionals. Black mark, <laughs> move the hurdles to the black mark and raise to the third notch from the bottom. Black mark. What's wrong? What is she crying for? In second, Timberland senior Haley Smith with a time of 49.22 seconds. And in first, Timberland sophomore Alexa Adams with a time of 46.93 seconds. Alexa! <laughs> It is Sunday around one o'clock maybe and this is kind of how I'm spending my mother's day so I don't know I can't see the I can't see if y'all can see what I'm pointing to what I'm showing y'all that was gross uh, I'm pretty sure that was a piece of mud that was in my that was on the crease of my mouth and I just licked it Yeah. Anyway, so we had an issue here at the new construction where the it was it's been raining for a while, for a couple of days, and the mud had built up so thick on the street that it was getting stuck on people's uh, car tires and then like the tires on their golf carts because this is a neighborhood that um, I don't know that that thing is loud as hell. So sorry, sorry. Let me, let me come in and close the door. So this is a neighborhood that most people are, they drive around in their golf carts. This is actually an area where there's a golf course. Uh, ooh, I am looking dark and tan and dusty. Yesterday, Lexi's track meet, track meet ran so long, y'all. Her track meet wasn't over till like eight o'clock at night. I ended up leaving uh, after her 300 hurdles. Them 300 hurdles, she didn't have no competition, but I think she was also tired, zapped from that sun. Um, so she made it into sectionals anyway, even with the time that she had. So she got until next week to pull that shit back together. Of course, she made it to sectionals in her 100 meter hurdles and she had a huge PR. That PR was huge. Lexi was running 15, damn near 15 flat. Now she's running 14.36 seconds in the 100 meter hurdles. I'm so proud of her. She's such a hard worker. Um, Aaliyah did come home. She came home. She came in early this morning, but she went straight to the bed. She was tired. They got back um, from North Dakota yesterday. They had to drive all the way back from North Dakota to her school. Then she got in her car, drove home. So she was tired. So she's in the bed. Um, Linden is Linden. Linden is doing Linden things as always. I just wanted to throw that in because if I didn't mention Linden, I feel like somebody was going to be like, well, what about your son? You don't never mention your son. Linden is Lindening. That's what Linden is doing. And that's it, y'all. I think this is the end of the video because I really, I'm tired. I'm really not in the mood to vlog anything else to be real. I think I might go home and go home shower 
retwist my locks and I plan on just sitting back and enjoying the rest of my day and doing absolutely nothing. So this is the end of this video. You guys already know the drill. Until next time.